keep in mind that I was there from 83 to 87. And shortly, bef shortly before I got here, or right around that time, uh, Evanston had always been a dry campus. So uh, right ar around that time, I don't know, late 70s, early 80s, uh, they started to allow some drinking uh, near or on campus, and some of the restaurants were opened up. Um, we ended up, um, my fraternity uh, would go to the football games, and we would drink with the, um, with the chaplain, the university chaplain. But they didn't sell beer at the stadium. So we ended up, um, for five years running, we would sneak kegs into the stadium the night before. And we'd uh, run it across the parking lot and hide it above usually the bathrooms uh, in the student section. You know, during the national anthem, when everybody stood up, we'd uh, get the keg from on top of the bathroom. And you needed, uh, you know, somebody on somebody's shoulder to get it down um, and walk it up to where we were sitting and the university chaplain hung out with us and everybody around us and it was a good time <laughs> in, until I think uh, Northwestern caught on to what we were doing and then the final year uh, we ended up having to like sneak two kegs to two different parts of the stadium to try to get one and then finally when they figured out all our hiding places we stopped doing it. It was called espionage. Um, the espionage team, and so we'd, uh, you know, it was like a black operations, black ops. There's only about uh, 60, 70 people that could tell that story, uh, and I was the, uh, the team leader in 84 and 85.